Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's look at the 16th day problem today. So here we have the problem of validating UID. It's under regex and parsing problem. So let's see the task today. ABC XYZ company has 100 employees. The company decides to create a unique identification number. That's UID for each of its employees. So it's something to identify the employers and the company has assigned you the task of validating all randomly generated uids so we our task is to validate the uids so a valid uid must follow certain rules so these are the rules for a genuine uid so our task is to find whether a uid is genuine or not so let's see the input format First line contains integer t, so the two equal to t equal to two, and there will be two test cases. So we have to check for each of them whether it's a valid UID or not. And output format for each test case print valid if UID is valid. Otherwise, print invalid on separate lines. Do not repeat. Do not print the quotation marks. Okay, we, you don't need to print the quotation marks. Just print invalid, valid. That's all so here one is repeating invalid okay first look at the criteria for a number to be a uid number first criteria is that it must contain at least two uppercase english alphabet characters so two uppercase is necessary then it must contain at least three digits zero to nine three digits in between zero to nine then it should only contain alphanumeric characters a to z capital a to z and 0 to 9 okay then no character should repeat so each character among them should be unique then there must be exactly 10 characters in a valid uid so this total number of characters should be 10 and they should not repeat each other each of them should be unique then only contain alphanumeric characters then at least three digits then two uppercase these are the criteria totally there are one two three four five five criteria to be followed in order to be a uid so let's see the explanation they have provided over here one is repeating so invalid one is here then one is also here so it fails for this no character should repeat so it's not a valid uid so invalid is printed over here then it's valid so that's what we need to do so our task is to just check whether if uid equal to something uh, valid then return if it fails then we have to print return invalid invalid okay this is what we need to do like uh, we need to check for certain criteria, and if it does not follow it we need to print return invalid if not we need to return valid that's all first we need to check whether the capital letter uh, this is a capital letter or not okay now it's fine here also fine okay okay now let's see the input format here it's two first we need to take it's mentioned as t right so okay we have taken the input t then we need to loop through t so that we will get each of them okay now we need to check for each of them right so we can define a function something like oh, first we can take the input okay uid okay we took the input then we need to check for validation of the uid so validating uid we can write a function like that so let's use the same name okay we wrote like this so for each input it will check for whether it's valid or not and it will print out the value so now we need to write the validating uid function okay let's start define validating uid of uid so let's 
indent it inside so that so let's see the first case and we can start from the last so that these are easy to do first there must be exactly 10 characters in valid uid so this is our uid it should contain exactly 10 so if it is not equal to 10 then it's gonna be invalid right so we can take the length of the uid length of we need to check if it is not 10 then we need to print invalid right so we need to check for whether it's not or okay now it's fine so we are checking for whether the length of uid not equal to 10 then it's gonna return invalid so for the next term no character should repeat so we need to check whether any character is not repeating so in order to check that i don't know whether any simplified form is there let's use a empty list and do it in the traditional way okay we can first loop through uid then we can check whether i is present in a or not if i not in a then we have to append the value of i to a so that when the next time uh, it is checking if i is present in a when then we can return it's an invalid thing so else okay now we did that part so if it is turning invalid then we need to break out of the loop right so we need to add a break to okay now let me explain once again so we are declared a empty list then we are checking if i not in a so when the first time i checks if it is not present in a it will not be present in a so it the i gets appended to a and in the next time i checks for a if it is present in a then it gonna return invalid so a is all i is already present in a right so if i not in a it's not gonna work so l statement works and it's gonna return invalid okay that's it so let's check for the next thing it should only contain alphanumeric character so we can either check for whether all the elements are containing uh, alphanumeric characters or we can just do the inverse part like just check whether it's not containing alphanumeric character then we can print it valid so let's do that if we can use the re.find all method re.find find all of or of we have to find it right actually here capital w returns a match where the string does not contain any word character so this is the word character means the alphanumeric character so we can use the capital w over here so that forward slash right capital w then uid the text from which we need to check so if this exists it's checking for known alphanumeric characters so if known alphanumeric characters exist then the uid is not valid so we can return the same thing or like we can copy it out okay now for the next part it must contain at least three digits zero to nine so there are actually different methods in doing finding whether the uid contains three digits or not we can either loop through the uid and we can uh, make a new list and append all the digits to that list and check whether if it's more than three or not like we can use the each digit method and do that part but there is actually an easy method using the reg regular expressions itself we can use that we can find all those lm characters that are not this one and substitute it with a null so that we will get only the digits and we can check if it's less than three like at least three is required right so if it's less than three then it will return invalid so we can just copy the same thing then paste it over here so here we need to use the substitution method 
so let's remove it array dot sub we have used the array dot sub in the previous videos too so now we have to check for whether 0 to 9 is present or not right so 0 to 9 then we need to find the characters that are not 0 to 9 so we have to use this then we have to define that like replace them with a null so that it gets changed to this one and it will check for the uid okay sorry we forgot to import the array right okay that part is done too so here we are actually checking for uh, finding all the digits it's actually checking for the digits uh, the characters which are not digits and replacing them with a null so that only the digits remain in this string so we can check for the length of the remaining thing so that we can find the length of the digits so length of the entire thing and if the length is less than three less than three return invalid so they actually require at least three digits right so if the uh, number is less than three then it will return invalid similarly for the next part two at least two uppercase so we can just copy it out we can use the other method to like looping through the string then uh, like making a new list then appending all the uppercase using the e separate method and then we can check for the length whether it's more than two or not so it's easier in the other way so we can just copy it out then we only need to change okay wait a minute i was about to copy this one okay we only need to change here 0 to 9 with a to z a to z so that all the characters that are not uppercase gets replaced by this null character so only the uppercase remains uppercase right uh, yeah uppercase uppercase remain and we need to check for whether it's at least two so less than two so we are checking whether it's less than two and if it is less than two we will print it in return invalid so and if everything is perfect then else print valid so that's it i think we are done with the part let's run the code okay we finally got the entire test cases correct in the first run itself oh that's cool then let's submit it okay we got the entire test cases correct too so that's it we can use the other methods too but i think it's simple computer i think there must be something else for doing this part too but i cannot find anything like uh, repetitive elements finding the repetitive elements using regex uh, i find some uh, solutions where they are actually finding the repetitive elements that are together but when the elements occur in this format like if a gets uh, like this then some numbers then if r repeats like this they are able to find all the repeating characters that are together but uh, this uh, together same character that is repeated in the other place they are not able to find like that so i was not able to find any solution like using regex for this yeah that's all for today i think the video is helpful to you guys if you find this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel we can meet tomorrow with the 17 day problem